Hi, I'm Trey and welcome to another of my colouring tutorials. I'll be working with a dragon design uh, on this tutorial. It's a design by Anastasia Ellie Calderiva and it is in a Colouring Heaven Dragons in Nature special. However, she also has her own books where you can find these designs. I'm not going to be doing a full um, tutorial on the whole of a dragon. I just wanted to share uh, my attempt to do gold effect wings. To make this easier uh, to see I've also had to use light again so sorry about that so it won't be in natural light. Um, the eyes I've been done in the same colours I'm going to attempt to use on the wings. I'm not going to be doing the little one, I'm just going to be doing part of the big dragon's wings. Easier to be able to see. I'm going to try and create a beveled effect in the middle of these um, wings as well. Because there's an inner and an outer section. And the pencils I'm using are Castle Art Premium Pencils. I have a, a dark reddish brown a medium dark orange, a dark yellow and a very pale yellow. I'll start on the pale yellow first and I'm just going to do these two wings. Now to make a internal, sort of like a beveled effect, I darken the outside edges and I leave the middles almost light sometimes even white. So I'm going to just cover parts of the wing with the lightest colour first and try and leave a section in the middle white. I'm just going to work on these two wings on camera and now I've got the first layer down I'm going to start to darken in the edges. I'm using the medium, well the dark red, uh, yellow now sorry, and I'm trying to create almost like a gradient effect. Now and also I probably will adjust this band that I've left. I think it's a little bit too wide. It's just working it out as I go along and adjusting. So because I think that white bit's too wide, I'm going to extend the paler yellow. And I'll do the same for this wing as well. If I think it's too wide, I will narrow it down. I'll see how it works once I get this uh, dark yellow down.
Now I'm going to try the uh, dark orange. I'm going to be working from the edges again, just darkening in the edges, overlapping my previous colour. But it not, I'm not with the darker colours, I'm not coming right into the middle. I'm trying to leave a lighter section in the middle. Now I'm going to use the darkest colour I'm using this on this and it's a very dark reddish brown and again I'm just going around the edges and this is a similar um, technique I used uh, on a Zentangle pattern and I have posted a tutorial for that even though this isn't a Zentangle pattern you can it's a similar shape so you can use the same technique so I'll put a link in the description for the other tutorials and you can check that out if you find, you know, it would be useful. So I'm just working along the edges, darkening them up, overlapping the previous darkest colour for the first few layers. Now I can get an idea um, about how far out I need the other colours to come now, the, the darker colours to the very pale. So I'm now going to reverse my um, colour and layers. So I've put a darker colour, the darkest colour down, I'm using the dark orange and I'm going to go over and extend that little bit, just a little bit out from the edge. And now I'm going to use my dark yellow and extend that layer out from the edge. I'll be going over the two other layers as well. And it kind of blends it a little bit as well as doing that. It blends it as well, it softens up those lines. And with this shape, you're, I'm adjusting as I go along because obviously it's thinner in sections. Why did he know this?
I'm now going over all of those layers apart from the band in the middle with the pale yellow Well, that's the first few layers and I can start to see the beveled effect that I want. It needs more uh, layers and more adjusting because I can see here I need to adjust it a bit more. And um, I'll do that off camera and I'll come back to this. I put down another two layers of each of those colours I was using. The pale yellow, the dark yellow, the dark orange and the dark reddish brown and then I did a, a blend and it looks really effective it looks like there's some kind of light shining through it as well it gives it a nice beveled effect still looks delicate enough gives it a nice glow so I'm pleased that that's going to work out quite nicely I will do all the other uh, wings the same uh, but obviously I don't feel you know I need to do all of that on camera it's just to give you somebody an idea of what they can do now these edges that go around the inner wings I'm going to use a gradient effect with those and starting from here nearest the body I will put the darkest red reddish brown here And I'll follow around Then I'll use the dark orange, I'll overlap parts of the reddish brown. And then I'll use the dark yellow overlap part of the dark orange. Extend that one a little bit more. And this longer one, I'm just going to put a little bit of pale yellow overlapping the dark yellow. So what I'm trying to create is a gradient effect 
gone from the start of the webbing to the tip. So all of that will be repeated and again if I feel like I need to extend a colour I'll extend it. Well, that needs a few more layers on um, that section, which I'll do, and then come back to this. Now, put down uh, another two layers of each of those colours, and I like the gradient effect, but I think that brown for me is a little bit too brown, so I'm going to go over all of that brown section now with the dark orange just to warm it up a little bit more. I'm use light pressure all the way through this so that I can get more layers down. And now I'm going to go over all of this section now, apart from this, in the dark yellow to lighten it a little bit more, give it more of a glowy effect. Let's finish off this part here in the lighter yellow, just so it matches this lightest part here. And that is the gradient effect finished. I'll just give it a, a little bit of a blend. And that's that finished and yes I'll be doing all the other wings obviously for this project in the same way but it was just to give you uh, an idea of what I was attempting to do and I think that's worked out quite nicely. Um, the body of the uh, the dragons I'm going to be doing in blues so it'll be a nice contrast as well uh, um, to go with the, that colour. So I hope uh, this has been useful, a little bit of an idea how to do dragon wings and um, if you have any questions or queries 
or ideas or feedback, please do post them. I'd like to uh, read them and of course I'll answer them best I can. So bye for now and see you in the new future with another tutorial.